This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to this demonstration for BoxStorm, a cloud-based inventory management application. We're excited to show you BoxStorm. It's from the makers of Fishbowl and is designed to be a very simple, easy to use app, especially for those that just want to track some, some basic warehouse needs or be able to scan inventory in and out of their location. We find that uh, common uses for, for box from our industries are uh, small services companies, those that need to do some very basic job costing, uh, track what's on their trucks, be able to scan things to jobs, and then those that just have a, a wide range of types of warehouses, whether that is a truck or a medical clinic or a facility, uh, where they just need to be able to scan inventory in and out and be able to get reports and alerts. So today we're going to be showing you the BoxStorm website, the primary BoxStorm application, as well as the app that comes on iOS and Android for BoxStorm, where you can do a lot of the applications, especially for scanning, things like that. So to get started, we're in the BoxStorm uh, application right now, and we've it's been designed to have a very straightforward uh, front page view of your inventory. Notice how items certainly can have pictures, and we want to be able to give a very simple view of quantity on hand, how items are sold, what their pricing and cost is, and the ability to easily drill down into inventory to know what location things, uh, well, where things are located, as well as if there's thing on, things on order, that drill down capability. An item in BoxStorm has the capability of having a number of details and custom tags uh, that you can use for being able to do custom searches and easily find things that you've categorized. Uh, details for an item will include special tracking if you have to have serial number, lot number, or expiration date, or special units of measure uh, in order to track your items. One of the most popular features in BoxStorm is the capability of setting up min-max levels with alerts. So you can receive an email or a text letting you know when inventory is getting low. I should probably mention that you can have an image for all of your items in BoxStorm, and you can have unlimited locations. So a location could be a warehouse, it could be a bin location within a warehouse, it could be a person, uh, a location could certainly be a vehicle or truck. Um, and you can do reporting by any of these particular locations. Again, quite a bit of the emphasis in something like a box storm is being able to uh, report easily on what inventory we have on hand, as well as its history and what changes have potentially been made. These reports are available to uh, you know, be saved into a number of formats and are easily accessible. You're also able to view that same inventory from the app. And that gives us the ability to drill down on the application, see a picture, know what status, what uh, inventory locations these particular items are sitting in. Because of the, the simple nature of BoxStorm, a lot of focus was made on, on barcoding. Uh, the ability to print labels uh, or use labels for, for various inventory items. You'll see that, especially within the application, I can come in and be able to have a scan mode here that essentially allows for the, the software to uh, identify what is it that we're doing. Are we adding inventory? Are we subtracting inventory? Are we simply moving? Are we doing a cycle count? These are all things that we can do just from a, a quick click from the application. Now, for some, they will use this just on their phone. Uh, for others, they'll want to use some, some more intense scanners in the warehouse, which there are a number of them that we, that we offer or can give you access to. Now, for others, you know, they want the application to do much more than just track inventory in and out or to, to give them a very simple feel. They need to be able to do an element of job costing or at least be able to uh, actually purchase and receive in the system. So within BoxStorm, you do have purchase orders, the ability to track vendors. I can come in and create purchase orders and those can be emailed out of the system. They can be printed and uh, most importantly, they can be received against. 
you'll have your custom logo on there as well. Similarly, we need to be able to do uh, not only the ability to just scan inventory out, but uh, actually uh, sell inventory to a, to a job or to sell to an actual customer. So whether you're just costing or you're using the sales order uh, with pricing on there, Boxstrom has sales capabilities. So similarly, I can drill down, uh, be able to look at the details of any sort of order and add however many items that I need to and save as a quote or I have the ability to, again, uh, print invoices, send them out of the system. This same capability uh, is inherent in the app as well. So on the application, I can come in and look up a sales order and be able to see the status if part of it has been fulfilled or if it's still in a quote status. Uh, I can come down and see and make edits if there's a customer purchase order number or who the sales rep is or if there are certain terms. Again, for many, the sales order is simply a means to cost things to their job and then be able to see the various types of reporting on it. So again, moving down, uh, everything from a particular customer history to an inventory history. Uh, there's a lot of focus on audit trails and the ability to know in our system who's logged in and been able to make various changes. I should probably also note that there are some integration capabilities in BoxStorm. So if I did want to be able to look at the market and be able to say, hey, I would like to plug this into QuickBooks Online or do some very basic rate looking up for, for Shippo or if I want to plug it into Stripe for payments, these are some of the plugins to the BoxStorm application. Something very important to the makers of BoxStorm was that we wanted this to be a, a simple application for our clients to, to use and to be trained on. If you go to the primary BoxStorm website, you'll see that there's going to be a number of resources here for you uh, in the Help Center, both and in the resources. Help Center specifically gives us documentation, and so that's where I can come in and see for all of the various features in the software. I can drill down and have very clear explanation of how that feature is to be used in a walkthrough. Also might be helpful to manage and, and look at the training videos, which will go in depth on any one of the, the features as well, such as adding new items or being able to uh, do inventory control in general or use a CSV file to initially import your data. We would invite everyone watching this to visit the pricing for BoxStorm. We have set this up to where you have an unlimited free trial of the system. And if it looks like it's going to be the right fit, we would invite you to subscribe. You'll see the pricing is very straightforward. It's simple. It's $80 essentially uh, per month, and then you can add additional users. Um, once you actually subscribe to BoxStorm, we have additional training resources that are available where you can have some hands-on help or some remote training or even on-site training options. Hope you've enjoyed this overview of BoxStorm. We look forward to working with you. Hope you have a great day.